Hello there, my name is Ashraf and I'm from Zenon Studios. Well, today as you can see on my screen, I want us to look at uh, how we can draw a roof molding. A roof molding is that part between the roof and the walls as you can see. Don't mind the color of my roof. Well, and to do this, um, let me grab a fresh Akikad page and we start. So I'm going to draw um, some simple walls and the walls I'm drawing as you can see from my screen they are 200 the wall thickness is 200 perfect perfect so I'm going to draw a simple simple wall here perfect perfect and on to this wall I want us to put a roof molding up here and then we shall put um, um, a roof so what you do go to your options and uh, click element attributes then click profile manager and then once you're in profile manager you're going to click this new tab click that it will ask you to name your new profile and I'm going to name it as molding hit enter it says the name already exists okay so i'll rename i'm going to call this molding uh tutorial molding tutorial okay perfect and it will give us a page for us to draw the molding so grab your documenting tools and start draw, drawing a section through your molding so i'll grab the line tool Come over here to where the asterisk is, what other people call the point. So because my wall thickness is 200, I'm going to draw a line that is actually 200. Click enter. Then I'm going to go up by a distance of 100. By a distance of 100. Enter. And... Um, I'm going to go back right here perfect then I'll go up by a distance of 200 we are trying to draw a very basic molding then go this other side still by a distance of 200 hit enter then I'm going to go down by a distance of just 50 50 then go this other side by a distance of still 50 then go down by distance of 50 still and then finally go this side by distance of 50 then I'm going to draw a line from here from my point to this point right there and then I'm going to um, move this line so you can copy you can drag so I'm going to drag this line, a copy of that line to the midpoint here. And uh, as you can see, it will connect up there. So I'll delete this and I'll also delete that. Then after doing that, I'm going to select my line. Make sure, um, make sure this option here, that is uh, suspend groups is active. Suspend your groups once you hit that line. Once you select the line, come over here, make sure you get that anchor, snap, click it. And when you click it, you're going to get some options up here. And then you click the second option, then transform that line into something like a curve, like that. The radius doesn't matter. Then deselect that, select this other line, get the anchor snap, and uh, transform this into a curve something like that so this is a section through our molding and what you're going to do you're going to grab your fill command and uh, fill it so i want my fill to be concrete i'm going to use structure concrete so grab that put your cursor in between this and hit the space bar to get the magic wand and click that button and right there you have um, your molding so I'm going to save this 
and as you can see I've used it as a wall here so I'm going to save this save and uh, Akikad will save that for me so I can now close this tab and get back to my ground um, plan so to use our molding go back to design grab the wall command because um, because uh, the molding we created we created it as a wall so you can go into the wall settings go into the wall settings and uh, this time around we are using a custom wall so come over here and grab this molding tutorial whatever you named it so I'm going to grab that and uh, my walls are 3000 that means the molding will sit on top of the walls that means uh, to project zero my molding is going to be at a distance of 3000 perfect 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 and uh, yes 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 so I'll simply hit OK and I can now start drawing my molding onto my um onto my 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 ground plan so I'll simply draw the molding like that like that like that like that and finally like that so if you go into our 3d you can see that uh, the wall now has a molding and you can give this molding any color that you wish yeah that's our molding in here you can see it's um it's very basic for purposes of this tutorial so um you can give this molding a color so uh, let's uh, let's give it a color uh, so I'm going to paint it a uh, leather tabac yes leather tabac then, uh, perfect 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 uh, you can give it any color that you wish and then after drawing this molding you can um, you can actually uh, insert a roof that you wish to use so I'm going to insert a roof here if I go to my story one that's where the molding is showing I can go into the roof settings um, and insert a roof i'm going to give it a pitch of 28 uh positioning okay okay i want it there i want this to be 75 then to project zero remember our molding was three uh 300 so this would be 330 uh 330 yeah yes so the model I want it to be french tiles red that's okay uh, sorry uh, french tiles red roof tiles french red yes Perfect, perfect. So I'm going to come over here, uh, put my first roof node there, next roof node, next roof node, next roof node, roof node, roof node, and finally there. And if you go to our 3D, uh, okay, okay, I didn't remove the offset setting so come over to multi plane geometry and put this to zero 
such that our roof sits exactly on the roof molding and as you can see the roof is sitting exactly onto the roof molding just like that and uh, that's how we can add a roof molding to our project in Akikad. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. See you next time.